Not everything's open. I gotta read the cards, dude. I like Dung Collector. Uh, Overachiever is very good. Oh, I need stream labels. Veggie. Big pottery. Okay, it's always swing plow here. Uh, we're going third? So if we're swing plowing, use the same action space of the player to your right as she's on there and turn. Very interesting. Uh, how do I feel about extra improvements? You can score the maximum four. Ah, this is a cool card. Frick. Hold on, I gotta open chat too. Where is my chat? Sorry, chat, I can't see you. Yo, what's up? How's it going? Yo, what's up? Ah! I hear myself. Hold on, I gotta I gotta figure out an octopic. to pick. Give me a sec. We're farming on a Saturday, it's happening. Uh this card is so cool. This card is very good. Maximum four point all right, so what can we do here? We can do fields. I also like Dung Collector too, but yeah, this is actually kind of hard. It has to be like fields, veggies, fences. It's kind of hard to do this. Kind of like Dung Collector. No, but if I have Swing Plow, we don't need Dung Collector. Frick! This is not useful. This is not useful. So it's Diligent Farmer, Wood Collector, or Overachiever. Oh, uh, what do I do? I'll try Overachiever. This card is fine. You have to line up a major though, which is kind of annoying. But getting like two major actions seems good. Yeah, we'll try this. Let me wake up my Discord. How's everyone doing, chat? Hope everyone's doing well. I uh, had a very productive morning this morning. I woke up, I took care of a bunch of things that I needed to take care of that I've been procrastinating for a while. And then I was like, I am gonna farm because I've been playing games offline, which is a good sign. Playing games offline, that's a good sign. That means that I am um, having a good time farming. And so as long as I'm keeping it that way, I'm happy to farm more. Uh, stone. Okay. Uh, I like this card a lot. I like this card quite a bit. I do like playing Ox on traveling players. I think that's quite good. This card's bad. Oh no, this card, yeah, it's just, yeah, it's bad, it's bad. It's it's just, okay. Yo, what's up, Rubius? How's it going? Ewek? <laughs> what does that mean? Uh, if you use the build room, turn the, what the hell? These are the same card. These are the same card, then they're both bad. The hell? Okay, this is a veggie card. Stone buyer. I'm gonna try Market Master, mainly because I like traveling players stuff. Oh, you're saying this card's weak. I, I wanna try it, I'm curious. I think that playing Ox is good. Having another Ox spot is nice and getting it on traveling players is fine, especially because we have Swing Plow, it allows us to play it pretty early. 
Um, stone axe is really bad with overachiever because we need our stone. Raised bed. Uh, oh, it's got to be food basket. Has to be food basket here. Has to be this. Uh, this is just seems so good. We're going to have a lot of fields anyways. All these cards are like plow support. We could go stone axe, but honestly, I really need my stone here. I think we're going to take food basket because it gives me crops to sow early on, and I can maybe get a sow with swing plow in. Yeah, let's do that. That seems pretty good to me. I'm out. I'm in. Yeah, how's everyone doing? I, I hope everyone's doing well. I, uh, this game started a lot faster than I thought. Normally when I queue, it takes like, a, like 20 minutes or so for a game to happen. Whoa, what happened to our clocks? <laughs> our clocks are all fucked up. Our clocks are so messed up. I did not think I had that little time on my clock. I thought I had a little more time than that. Stone Axe is trying. Yeah, I've seen people play Stone Axe. I don't think it's, I think it's good. I think that with Overachiever, Overachiever, I really want my stone for improvements. It's very important that I'm able to, to use stone for my improvements. So I think that like using stone for wood is not great, um, but I could be wrong. Ooh, foreign aid, ox goad is not useful. Bed in the grain field is kind of interesting. I can go for a greening plan. Uh, this card has too much text. Dude, fuck the set that's not the E-deck. It's so annoying. Um, I could go for a big land surveyor play. I need to look for traveling players cards. We get a nice land surveyor here. Sean is farm. <laughs> True. <laughs> Could go for a big land surveyor for the next two round spaces. Greening plan is pretty good. Don't make all the Sean's to farms true. True. Ah, <laughs> oh, this card's cool. I hate greening plan. I think greening plan is so bad. Oh, I gotta go faster. It's not a lot of time. Um. Yeah, we'll go for a land surveyor here. Because we have swing plow, we can get to six fields pretty easily. The problem is that this is going to happen pretty late unless I go market master into lots of ox early on, which I could do. Ben the grain field is probably not amazing, but I think it might be okay. Like, I can see a world where it's useful. If the family growth queue is bad, then this could be very useful here. It's got to play faster. Each time you use a grain seeds, okay. Uh, oven? So action? So action's kind of hot. Uh, Spin Doctor does not work with this. <laughs> no, I don't need more miners. Uh, I will take free stables. I don't think we want ale benches. Thresher, yeah, Thresher could have been okay. There's a combo here. I think we're just gonna pick Iron Oven. Sundial's really good though. Yeah, I don't have miners that I can really play early. I think I'm gonna go with Sundial here. Spin Doctor, Market Master, Guest Room. I have no idea what Market Master is. 
I think I know what guest room is, but I'm not sure. What do we wheel? No. No. These are all really bad. They are all really, really bad. I have three playable ox, fortunately. Um, cheese fondue is kind of interesting. Yo, Chris, thank you for the sub. and blows the Alpenhorn asterisk A G R I I I I I I C O L A A A A A A A. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate that. What do I want to do here? Uh. I think I'm just gonna take the scullery. I don't want to be married to baking bread here, and then this pick doesn't really matter. Um, I will pick a dung collector to just hate it. I, I don't want to have other people have that having access to plow stuff. All the non-bows. Non-bows happen. I hate it when my hand is non-bows. You can't really do much with it. I think this this hand has a very good chance to like get a sew in in round seven which would be really sick like raised bed is almost playable mill right i don't think is playable pet grower uh knave is kind of interesting Can I get two grain fields? Oh, this is maybe doable. Brick. I really like this card though. This card's just great. Okay, I think I'm gonna go for this, and then the mill right is only to get the grain, because I don't think these are that good anyways. It's mainly to get the grains, so that way if I play it off the ox spot, um, it makes the market master a little bit better later on. Uh Overachiever? No way. Overachiever's so good. I mean, I think it's definitely has, um... Okay, Calcium Fertilizer is good, too. This could, this could be a good start player option in the early rounds. I think this is fine. Yeah, I can see that being okay here, actually. I don't really want to Fornaid. Although, actually, Fornaid is quite good. Wait, Fornade is actually pretty good. It blocks me off of family growth with that room, but it's a little bit too good here. Stone. Uh, do I care about Fornade? I'm playing Market Master. I don't think I really care about Fornade. Yeah, I'm curious to try Overachiever. I think Overachiever can be quite good. The, the one less resource cost is nice. It's basically like one or two improvement actions, which is pretty good. I have to decide if I want a Forn. I can't believe Ox Goat is there. That's crazy to me. Calcium Fertilizers could be good though. I really don't want to block off family growth without room. 
I think blocking out family growth out room in this hand is too bad. As, as shitty as that is to say, and I think I'm gonna have enough access to food. It sucks because Fornate is really good and I'd like it, but I think that like the idea behind calcium fertilizers is that in round one, there's a chance that I don't take three wood and I wanna start player and starting player with calcium fertilizers is totally fine. Starting player with Fornate is not really great. Um, cause I really do want read stone foods with this hand. I want a million stone, uh, so that way overachiever is actually good. So we're gonna, we're gonna go with that. We're gonna go with that logic and, and hopefully it pans out. Yeah, I need a lot of read stone foods with this hand. Like I want stone for these cards. I want, um, stone for overachiever stuff. I, I think overachiever is fine. I just have to figure out a way to do it. I, I think I have enough, like improvements in this hand that I would like to play early on if I get a good opportunity. Like, I really just want to power out the swing plow. It's a farmathon. My goal is to play at least three games today and maybe four, depending on how I'm feeling. Depending on if Zazak starts coming in stream sniping me, uh, <laughs> I might uh, I might play four games, I might play three, but we'll see. All right, we got plow help in the form of assistant tiller. All right, well, that makes sense why uh, freaking uh, Dunk Collector didn't get picked then because everybody in the in the world has plow help here, I guess. Yeah, if I don't get uh... okay, not getting Ock is fine. I just read stone food. Read stone food's totally fine here. Furniture maker, yeah. I need like an Ock at some point in the next two turns, and I'm fine. Because I can go Ock into uh, take traveling players, play an Ock. I think that's fine. I just need to get the three Ox for this, and then two Ox for food basket. Yeah, I have some nice lines that I could have here. There's, there's some potential. And I do think calcium fertilizer is gonna be quite good. So I do think I'm, I'm gonna wanna take the quarry space. By the way, I decided to go with puzzly music because I, I was feeling the Baba as you. I was like, yeah, this this sounds nice. <laughs> this sounds nice. I'll, I'll do some Baba as you. Um, if two wood gets to me, I'd probably take two wood over anything else. They're plowing? The fuck? All right, well, I'd take that. I don't think I want two, grant, two uh, clay. Like, I kind of want to play the scullery, but it's not really convenient to do that. All right, that's beautiful. How's my January? It's good. It's been busy because of... Um, it's been busy due to having a new class, but it's honestly been like pretty nice, I think. Yeah, I'll take two wood here. Two wood's pretty fine. Um, honestly, I don't even think I want an Auk. I think I'm I think I'm willing to pass on Ox here. Like I do want Ox eventually, but I'm totally fine like playing calcium fertilizers later, playing scullery, like playing the sand a little bit slower and then trying to swing plow later. Ideally, we market master in round three into traveling players, play an Auk, and then we play either the Millwright to get the grain or the Overachiever just to get it out. Probably the Overachiever. But yeah, January's been good. It's just been busy. Um, I had my first in-class discussion yesterday for labor economics, and that went really well. It was really nice. So um, that's been going well. Uh, my microeconomics class is going great. Yeah, everything is just going really well. I'm, I've been very happy with it. I've been farming a lot in my off time, which has been fun. I think we just want Reed Stone food. I don't really care about Auk this turn. I'd rather try and take Auk next turn, I think. Um, especially because I can take two wood with my second action. That is weird. <laughs> I, mi I might take free Auk here. This is veggie. Okay. Oh, what do I want here? Do I take Freak or do I take Reedstone food? I still think I'm taking Reedstone food here, but it's kind of close. Traveling players looks a little messed up. Like, I could go. <sighs> 
uh, get it playing market master into another Auk this turn is also really good because I think that this person's going to need a lot of food I might just do that this turn I'm not getting a good action with my second action it lines up another good Auk for me later on I'm just going to do it this turn I do kind of want to get the swing plow out really early here, so I think I'm just going to do this now, and then uh, we'll, we'll awk with my second action off traveling. That seems fine to me. We're, we're just powering to three awks. This is pretty weak here. Like, this is definitely not the, the greatest thing, but it does power out a bunch of awks for food basket and swing plow, which I really want to do, so... We, we will take that. It also makes the food really awkward for blue as well. Like, they're definitely going to try and power a... Uh, wow, they wield Reedstone food. That's crazy. <laughs> Yo, what's up, random NPC? How are you? Yep. All right, give me my traveling players. They're supposed to go to a town. Yeah, true. You mean they're not? I'm not going to another town to play the liar? I'll play my Auk now, because the, the second action on this board is not very good. Um, Yeah, we'll get Overachiever into play here. Seems fine to me. I think the next thing I want to play is Land Surveyor here. We're going to try and get a Sow in round seven. I think that's going to be the play. Get a build, camp, start, try, and get a sow in round seven. That seems pretty sweet if I can do that. And Land Surveyor will help me set up a food engine. Farming is me, so true. The soundtrack is a banger of a soundtrack. It's so good. No start? Jamon, one time for the no start. Please... Please no start, no starting players. Let let uh let green have starting player. All right, this is sad but acceptable. As long as I get a reedstone food, I'm happy. Dude, also green or teal, I think is playing the card that says like you get if it's your first awk, you get a food for every awk everyone's played, which I think is going to be pretty good here. Each time you get a reed and or stone from an action space, you get an additional clay. That card seems good. That's a lot of clay. You know what card I've been really impressed with? I, there's a card that's like every time someone plays an improvement with a printed clay cost on it, you get a clay and a food. That card is insane. <laughs> that card has been so insane. It's been like eight clay, eight food every single game I played it. it it's like everything that I wanted. Um, what is it called? It's everything that I've wanted uh, Charcoal Burner to ever be. Yeah, that card's crazy. Even even if the draft is like not that crazy for it, like there's so many random cards with clay costs. All the majors have clay costs on them. Like it's really crazy. All right, what is Red doing here? I have a feeling I'm not getting Reedstone food, which is kind of a bummer. But if I get three wood, three wood here, it's kind of okay. We just want to set up a build. We just want to set up a build here. Three wood, three wood is fine. There is sheep. I don't really care about the sheep. I think I'm going to be okay on food because I'm getting a little bit of incidental food from Market Master. Wow, they're taking Reedstone food. Okay, that's a little bit unexpected. But it makes sense. I think ideally here... Yeah, the Auk pressure I did completely destroy. What are our ox? Um, hold on, let me read this. You get a wood on clay that you get an additional read. Got so much resource injection. Um, I have. Hold on, I'll hover over them while I think. I might take four clay here. Kind of tempted to take four clay. No, I need so much wood. I I'm just going to three wood, three wood. It's just way too good. If I don't get three wood on the wheel, then I have to think. Then I can start player for a reedstone food. 
I need a lot of wood, though. I, I really am, like... <sighs> Yo, what's up, Sarian? How are you? What's up, species? I'm doing great. What? Dude, he's blocking? He's going for the clay pit block? The clay pit block? What the fuck? The clay pit block? Dude, Lofo said, fuck your clay pit. <laughs> what the hell? That is so rude. No! My wood! That's so rude. I don't think they mind taking four clay here. Oh, they do. Wow. Uh, I can't pass four clay. Although I really would love a starting player sundial here. I kind of need reedstone food. Uh, also, getting food basket into play is gonna be annoying as hell too. What was the yellow level? I don't know. Probably low. It's in their name. I really want starting. But I also really want the clay. I think reedstone food is too important here, actually. I'm gonna take a sundial. If I get four wood, do I take it over reedstone food? I could mill right. <laughs> mill right to, to build with clay is kinda or great, it's kinda funny. Uh The reedstone food pressure is too insane here. I'm um, gonna start here. Yeah, the reedstone food pressure is way too crazy here. And I really do need it. I actually shouldn't play sundial here. Yeah, I don't think I need to play Sundial. I need another improvement I can play later, and also this cutting off my build is really bad, too. Yeah, I have to play this. But this is good. This is a good card to get into play. This is definitely going to be something that's useful. Um, I, I'm definitely going to go for a so, if not by round 7, by round 9. So, yeah, I do give up a bunch of clay, but I think that's fine. Um... You might think it's crazy to give up four wood here because four wood is like an incredible amount of wood, but I do think that the second stone is really important for progressing my strategy. What am I wheeling here? This person needs a food. This person needing a food actually helps me out an insane amount. It makes it very likely I wheel the wood. It makes it super duper likely. Because like if they take four wood here, like they're day laboring, they're traveling players in. Like, it, it messes up their food really bad. They really need a hearth here, um, which means that one of these people is probably taking two reed, which probably gets me three wood on the wheel. Um, I also, if this person tries to do fireplace stuff or hearth stuff, I can build next turn. They're building now, what the fuck? That is crazy. They must have an improvement that gives them food or something like that. Oh, or they have the Auk that gives them food. The Auk that gives them food would make a lot of sense. But this also works out for me. This way, I also am very likely to get wood here. So this also works out. If I don't get wood, I could just traveling players out and Auk again. Um, which I don't think is that bad, but I really do want the wood here. Yeah, I need... If, if I get a four wood on the wheel, it's insane. That would be the nut high, because then I have enough for the well and for swing plow when I family grow. Um, but I don't anticipate that happening. If that happens, then the table messed up. <laughs> the table made a huge mistake if that happens. Wait a second. Wait a second. Oh, he's going for the fireplace. He's going for it. He's fireplacing. Nave. Yeah, it looks like uh, that card. I, I, I think that's the card that I'm talking about. The, uh, like, you get a food for every Auk the other people played. That card's pretty good here. 
I need more coffee. How did I start stream and, and start it with no coffee in my cup and no water in my water mug? mug? What am I doing? Chat, did anyone else have their morning ruined by watching Ben Shapiro rap? Because I sure did. <laughs> anyone else? Just me? Just me? Raise your hand if you had your morning ruined by, by seeing Ben Shapiro rap. No! And they took four wood! Fuck! I, it was a... It was definitely a, a like, guilt click. Like, uh, I should not click on this, but I'm going to anyway. <laughs> like, yeah, I really should not subject myself to this, but I'm going to anyways. Okay. I'll take my three wood. Three wood's great. Three wood allows me to build my swing plow. Then next turn I can go build into Auk and then have enough food for the harvest. Is why because <laughs> I'm because I'm willing to to make the sacrifice for everyone and watch Ben Shapiro rap and let you know that it was fucking terrible. When you get to hear Sean rap, what the fuck? My traveling players, no, dude. What a what a dingle, dude. This person is the blockiest of all time. What the fuck? I've got, I got so owned. All right, we gotta come up with a, another plan then. I can rap a little bit. <laughs> I'm not as good as like Ben Shapiro or Vivek Ramaswamy, but you know, I, I can still hang in there. Maybe, maybe I'm like on the same level. <laughs> Bro, all right, Ch chat Elo check. What, what Elo do you think Lofo is? Based, based on how this round has gone, what what elo would you say that Lofo is? Oh, they're not going to get the sheep either. That's so funny. That's actually so good. Elo guess. My guess is... Uh, I would guess 220. 220 is my guess. Grow me? Hey! At least we won that lottery. They are... 112. Okay. <laughs> Lo-Vi Hip Hop Girls 500 plus. True. So true. What order do I do things in here? Yeah, there's the fireplace going. That that really makes this person sad. That's okay, I'll take my build here. Um I think I would like to play an Auk here. Cause I could on family grow. I could go swing plow food basket, which is pretty nasty. Getting swing plow and food basket is pretty gross. And then I can, yeah, if I land surveyor, I think I might awk on the regular awk spot just to save traveling players for later. Because I can mill right if I need to. Mill right might actually be pretty good here. Yeah, that seems really good to me. The only problem with this is building the well becomes really hard. But I think the tempo on getting Swing Plow Food Basket is really insane. Also, being able to play the Food Basket for free without having to pay the read is crazy, too. <laughs> Dude, you know what the worst, the worst part about the Ben Shapiro rap is, is that Nicki Minaj like commented on it and was like, hey, Ben Shapiro, your rap is pretty good. <laughs> That's the worst. That's the absolute worst part about this is that not only did I have to subject myself to that, but I also uh, lost a lot of respect for someone who... Uh, 
I, uh, uh, Nicki Minaj, who admittedly, my respect was not like at the top level, but it, it, you know, it definitely took a, took a hit. Um, yeah, we're going to plant Akira. I think Land Surveyor's got to be great. I think this has got to be really, really good. Yeah, it's just this, right? I mean, I could mill right, though. Ah, uh, yeah, because I could mill right and go for a bigger sow here. I think that's a little better. And then next turn we go plow... And I get resources, try and play the sundial. It makes the food a little dicey. But I can traveling players around seven for food if I need to. Sure. <laughs> play on traveling players. I guess it's a free food to play on traveling players. Yeah. All right. I I I'm s I, I forgot that it's a free food. I thought it was the same cost, but I did the math in my head when you said that. <laughs> I did the math and I was like, oh wait, I should probably play this on traveling players. Uh, I'm dumb. Yeah, I, I'm stupid. You know, no, you're right. I'm stupid. I I I I did the math because of that comment, but I I arrived at the decision on my own accord. <laughs> <laughs> also frees up Auk for this guy. Do they have it? They have to have that Auk, right? Otherwise, it's fucked for them. If they do not have that Auk, it's really, it's really, really messed up for them. No, they are going to buy stone instead. All right, this person is so toasted. Okay, they are going to go for, like, a pottery, though. So we want grow into wood this turn. And then next turn we go plow. Okay, my food is a little bit fucked. How am I fooding? How do I food? Oh, I could I could go for like big land surveyor stuff this turn. Uh Okay, so the first Oh, wait, 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 restart turn. Fuck, this has to go first. Has to go first. That's really annoying. Uh, all right, this messes up absolutely everything. No, dude, this is so fucked. Okay, we can still technically make this work but it's kind of fucked up. So we go swing plow sundial, we take reed stone food on the wheel. Okay, this, this still technically works. Honestly, it's a little safer this way, which is copium. <laughs> it's a little bit safer this way. It's, it, this is this is super copium, but that's okay. Yeah, YouTube YouTube does push. I mean, it pushes brainless content. Like YouTube sucks. I I hate. The more that I uh, become familiar with YouTube, the more I hate it because I think that it it the way that the algorithm works, it just pushes content that people like, and that content that people like is always going to be the lowest denominator stuff of all time. That's why, like, not to, to discredit Mr. Beast, because I think that what Mr. Beast is doing is incredible, because somehow he has cultivated a, like, system 
of um, content that's like really crazy uh, and really cool and he does really unique stuff, but uh, it's always the lowest common denominator stuff that gets pushed. So like, you know, Mr. B stuff is gonna get pushed because it appeals to like the lowest deno the common denominator of people and, and that's okay. Uh, but like as a result, there's all this other stuff that is just like garbage that also appeals to the lowest common denominator of people. Uh, that is uh, less good. All right, we have to plow this turn because this gives me a feeding out next turn of land surveyor for three food. Um, I didn't get the read that I wanted to, which is a bummer. But yeah, this sundial is going to be insane here. It's going to be crazy. Yeah, we seen a lineup to build again. <laughs> I mean, it's it's worse because of people's preferences. Like people have different preferences for, you know, different things, and that's that's a part of why it's so bad is because the the preferences are are messed up. Yo, what's up, Heroic Logic? I think the older that you get, the more you lose touch with the youth, and that's a good thing. This is, this is like Squeak said, like, you grow up watching, you know, your, uh, your streamers, like, I Show Speed and, and, uh, you know, XQC, like, you grew up watching those streamers, even though they're, like, uh, you know, a, a little wild and out there or whatever, you know, you grew up watching, watching those streamers, and then eventually you grow old, and then you watch Northern Line. That's how it goes. Eventually you hit the age where you're just like, oh yeah, I, uh, you know, I, I too want to rank every single breakfast food because I also believe that waffles are the superior pancakes. <laughs> Which, by the way, I did spend the entirety of last night. Last night I was like, yeah, I'm gonna go like unwind for a little bit and lay down at 9.30. I went and put on Northern Line ranking every single breakfast food for an hour and a half. Great content. Great tier list, great content. I watched the whole thing. It was awesome. Yeah, I think I'm okay next turn if I get traveling players. I'm very scared of Teal doing something dumb. You're too old to watch Northern Lion. No one is too old to watch Northern Lion, okay? Northern Lion is going through it. Northern Lion's got it all. Northern Lion's got a kid, which is a very adult thing. He's got a Peloton, which like two people in the world have, and they all are Northern Lion viewers. Um, or, or, sorry, it's two people in the world that have it, and then also uh, the guy that directed Dunkirk and um, uh, or Chris or Chris Nolan, yeah, Chris Nolan, uh, Chris Nolan, and and Northern Line viewers. Those that's the only demographic of people that own a Peloton. <laughs> that's it. What is my round next turn? It's like Reedstone food, food basket, and then uh, hope that traveling players is there. And if not, I guess I'm just gonna starve or eat raw eat a bunch of grain, which is gonna be really annoying. I will say this raised bed is going to be absolutely phenomenal eventually. And I might try and do that later. Round is turn, what do you mean? Oh, wait, are, we, are we just Baba is Ewing? We're bobbing? We're bobbing? This person is struggling with their food right now. Okay. You get two actions in a row, buddy. <laughs> it's a good game. It's a great game. I was trying to look for merch for it and I couldn't find any and I was sad about it. What is this person doing? They're just fishing, right? They're they're fishing, they're gonna leave me alone. Please fish and leave me alone. That's all I ask. Joinery! Huh? The fuck?
If I don't get readstone food, what do I do? If I don't get readstone food, I'm super fucked. But it's okay, because we always get readstone food here. We always get it. It's gonna happen. I don't give a fuck about backseating. If you do something that annoys you, I'll just ban you. Or annoys me. <laughs> so yeah, ask your question. <laughs> Him pooly. Is that true? They just work on a million games at once. That's funny. Take your six wood. Yeah, yeah, take your six wood. Come on. Take your six wood and then, and then uh, freaking green is gonna take four wood and then double build. Oh, taking clay instead. Okay, that's that's interesting. This gives green a bunch of stuff. Oh, you're right. No, I, I built these these in a really shitty spot. Yeah, you're right. I, I just built these in a stupid spot. No, I, I, I agree. I, I built them in a dumb spot. That's That's my bad. I built them in a really stupid spot. I don't know why I didn't put them across the top like I normally do. Whatever, I can I can just put them on the top. It's fine. <laughs> I don't care about backseating. If it's like, like, for me, I'm able to listen to what other people say when I want to and make decisions without it, like, being super impactful on, um, like, how I play. Every once in a while, someone says something, and I'm like, oh, yeah, you're right, and it, like, very slightly changes something, but also it prevents me from going in the tank a long time. A lot of times I would arrive at the decisions. Sometimes that advice is bad. <laughs> Sometimes that advice is just straight up not good. Um, I'm going to start player here for food basket. I need to decide if I want to build another room or not. Do I want to build another room? The traveling players has to be with my last action. Do I want to build another room? I probably do. Yeah, I probably do. They're renoing instead of growing. That is fucking crazy. Oh, they don't have a food. Wow. What a world we live in. Is this well? Please do not be well. That would be very pog if you could not build the well, because I want to build the well. That'd be really cool. He's so cool. Yeah, it's like every once in a while you miss something and you see chat and that's fine, but then uh, also you have to deal with chat when you're streaming and that takes strength. <laughs> And then also you have to, uh, you know. <laughs> it's a it's a different game when you're when you're playing on stream. It's definitely different. Like if I play in this board gaming uh, championship thing or whatever, I will probably. Uh, I will very, very likely like play without chat open or something like that. But I think for random games, it doesn't really matter too much. I don't know. The food in this game is super fucked. If Teal takes two food, I'm gonna be pretty upset by it. They should be taking four wood instead. Um. Oh, I don't have enough plows for the land surveyor too, I realize. <laughs> How do I feed? Wait, what am I doing? I'm just raw eating a million grain here. Yeah, I just raw eat a bunch of stuff. That's unfortunate, but that's okay. That's the world I have to live in. I, I forgot I don't have enough food for land surveyor. It's kind of fine. I can raw eat a bunch of stuff. It's all good. Oh no, dude. They're going for a, a triple build? Is that is that what they're going for here? I have to start player. Because I need this for food purposes. 
do not traveling players. Do not do it. Take literally any other action. Take take a hearth, plot a field, play an Auk. There's so many other good options you have that are not traveling players here. I'm uh, I'm gonna lose my mind. I'm gonna become the Joker. I'm losing. I'm gonna lose my mind. Don't don't you fucking you you do not do it. <laughs> Alright, they went oven. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. They just went oven. That makes a lot of sense. Uh, give me this. Give it to me. Nom, 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 nom. Give me my land surveyor. Ooh, boy. That was a close one. That was a close one. So me. Give me my land surveyor. Give me my so. All right, now we're off to the races. We can raw eat a grain. That's totally fine. I can re-sow it later. It'll be all hunky-dory. I don't need an oven. We're all totally fine. I, I can get my raised bed up later. I can take my four wood. So me. Yeah. Oh, okay. We are so back. Cook me? Yeah, I don't think it's worth begging here. <laughs> it seems bad to me. Uh, yeah, what is my turn this turn? It's, it's definitely reed stone food. I think I do need to build another room. This person threatening a 5x build is pretty bad, but I've been in the grain field too. How does this card work? It's an action space, you piece. Okay, Ben the Greenfield is a total non-bow with overachiever. I did not realize that. That's okay. We can deal with the consequences of our actions here. Uh, building another room is gonna be so slow. Yeah, I maybe shouldn't go for another build. I have to plow this next turn. That has to happen. Because it gives me a million food in the harvest. I might go for a seventh field, honestly. The seventh field being worth a food is really nice. Um, oh, it's always four wood. I will say the wood in this game is messed up enough that I probably should just not ever go for a build. I probably should just go for fences instead and then just try and camp start for uh, grow without room. But we always start with four wood here. Yeah, the wood in this game is so messed up. If, if green goes for a triple build here, it's fucked. It, it, the wood is actually super fucked in this game. And I need to find, like, other ways of, of doing stuff. Four clay rooms. The problem is that there's no clay in this game either. All the clay is fucked, too, because pottery got taken. Like, it's all messed up. The family growth cube being messed up is also bad because this person did red did not grow last turn. That That's also really bad. Yeah, if I don't get reed stone food here, I might just build the well and then go for raised bed for food later on. How much food do I have in the harvest right now? I mean, if I get land surveyor and the raised bed up, we're fine. This person's also going for another build, because otherwise, why would you take two, two uh, reed? I'm not, I'm not building another room. It's not happening. Yeah, it's, it's not happening. There's no way. No, there's no shot. <laughs> There is no chance that building other room. It's not happening. Uh, what am I doing instead? I should probably build the well here. I could build a room with Millwright, but I think that's wrong. Yeah, that feels wrong to me. There's got to be better uses for that. 
Uh, I need a four clay action for raise bed plus reno. There's the double build. I need a plow this turn. I'm gonna plow now because I am too scared of plow getting taken and I'm just gonna build the well. Yeah, I think that seems like the most reasonable thing. Chad, how many games do I play today? It's definitely three. I, I have to plow now. If I don't get plow, it's like really, really bad. I did position my fields in a terrible, terrible way. Oh, no, 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 I can, I can make it work. No, no, I could just do a block here. This is fine. Okay, it's a little cursed. How did I mess this up so bad? I have to do it like this. I can't do it like this because I'm leaving this space over here that I can just never fence. So I, I just do it like this and this is fine. Yeah, if I build another room, it's okay. Not just the fields. No, no, the fields are fine. I mean, I could have put the room up here, but I hate putting the room up here. Putting the room up here sucks. The sixth field is just awkward. It's because we have a sixth field. That's the awkward thing. Yeah, the, the awkward thing is the sixth field. Fence six. No, no, we can fence six. We just fence six like right here in this nice little middle area. It's all totally fine. Just, just like a nice little fence six right in there. That's totally fine. Yeah, I, I like building my first room here. But first room here is still correct. What's wrong room at the top? Uh, I think it's less flexible. What is this person doing? Oh, six bases. Yeah, it's we're, we're, our plan is to never fence six bases. That's the the goal here is never fence six bases. But I do realize that this cuts me off from that. It's the six field. The six field is so fucked because without the six field, you can just I, I should the first field should always be this space. That's where I fucked up is that I plowed three in a row and I was like, oh yeah, we'll block off this space. You're supposed to put the first field here because then you can do three like this and then you can go like fill this space in, fill this space in, and then down here could be my sixth field and then you have a block like that. I, I just messed up the first. Once I mess up the first fields it's over but that's okay it happens I, I just fucked it up it's it's the first field always needs to be this one that's the the thing i fucked up if you do it like this and the field is this one it's fine oh there's a mini pasture i forgot about that mini pasture actually is goaded with the sauce um i would love to take three wood to defend against a six wood action but i honestly do not even care if teal gets six wood <laughs> <laughs> They're gonna eat it all anyways. I don't even care. I don't even care. Yeah, I mean, for me, it doesn't really matter. I just need the well this turn too bad. The one food tempo next turn is so important. Um... What am I doing next turn? I need a three stone action. Ugh. What am I doing? So I have three food in the harvest. Uh. I'm going to build the well here. So one more. I'm hoping to get the three stone next turn. The problem is that I can't build the stone oven now. That's the biggest problem. The well is so broken. I'm never not building the well. Fuck not building the well. Building the well is too, too good. 
I'll, I'll never pass up building the well. The well is too great. It's way too good here. Especially because my food is like slightly dicey. I get a so though, which is nice. Yeah, this sun this sundial was so insane. Everything kind of worked out. My my sequencing got a little bit messed up by the uh, the ordering of the um, overachiever, but it kind of worked out. Yeah, I need a bunch of stone here. If we play raised bed, we're chilling. Yeah, if we play raised bed, we have seven food and we're good. We're, we're good. we have seven food every harvest, which is great. Um, so we just need to get raised bed into play. Um, uh, so I think my next round is going to be to take three stone with my first action. I get to put a veggie on this field here if I want to, which I probably will to make it sync up. Oh, it's to each of your fields. Wait, that's crazy. Oh, I can add one to every one of these? That's actually so crazy. Yeah, I would do that. That sounds great. Wait, calcium fertilizer's so good. Wait, that's so buzz. I thought it was only one type, one thing. Adds it to all of them? Sheesh. Yeah, I mean, that's great. I'll do that. Yeah, I, I just want to do that. Because then also I can just raw eat more grain, which is totally fine. I can just take my three food, raw eat grain. I'll take my seventh field if I want to. We can, we can seventh field. That's fine. It's a point. I would like to get wood for fences here, but unfortunately, my I just have to prioritize my feeding a little bit first. And yeah, making the getting the fields there is too good because of the so action that I get in round nine. I, I definitely the four clay is going to be really important. If I only get three clay, it's fine. I can use two grain later on to reno if I need to. Because Millwright actually could be goaded with the sauce here. I'm back. Yeah, for for my my plan right now is to farm while I feel like farming, which right now is like I've been farming like every day this week. I played a game at, off stream every single day this week. So I, I've been, I'm farming. We're doing, we're big, big farming. Am I enjoying the season? I love this this set. This set's very good. I, I wish they would get rid of the last deck that they added uh, before this one because I still think it sucks. But if, uh, you know, I enjoy the new cards a lot. I think they're really cool. I think that, like, a lot of the busted stuff they've gotten rid of and the busted stuff that's still in is fun enough that I don't really mind that much. So, yeah, it's good. It's all great. I enjoy it. I think we're in good shape this game. I feel very, very strong. I feel very strong, but yeah, not nature. I feel good. I feel like my chair is sinking by itself, and that's concerning. Like, I keep, like, putting it up, and I'm pretty sure it's just, like, sinking lower by itself. <laughs> Every once in a while, I'm like, why am I down here? What is happening? Well, let me, uh, also make it so that Blurry Sean can never appear ever. Also, what the fuck is happening in this song? Every Why is every OST have one song that is just, like, the worst song of all time? They built another room? They took the wood and built? Hey. They took the wood and they built. Child Omni Ombudsman is actually so insane. That card's so stupid. I, I did destroy people with that card earlier. Farmers of the Moor, I have once. I don't remember anything great about it, honestly. I I don't remember it being great. I remember it being very complicated. Um, I also remember horses. I remember doing horse stuff. <clears throat> Family friendly home. This is the worst family friendly home of all time. <laughs> Give me my stone. Child Ombudsman is so dumb. It's so stupid. That card's so stupid. Alright, calcium fertilizer is getting getting some work done. We love to see it. 
what is craft teacher? Someone, someone, uh, hashtag card text me on, on that card. I could reno. Oh, no, no, I can't reno. I gotta, I gotta save this one grain in my supply is very important for renoing or for, uh, sowing. I gotta sow this one grain. Eating one grain in the harvest sucked, uh, cause I don't get to sow it. Oh, I do remember the heat aspect of it too. I think normal Agricola is already complicated enough that I'm happy not adding more complications to it. I think that's my sort of overall take is that like, I'm happy enough playing base Agricola. Guilds, oh yeah, guilds had something crazy with them too, right? I think that Teal is just going to starve. How does Teal not starve here? Now the real question is, do they starve and then leave? <laughs> do they starve and then leave? That's the question. Uh, I may not get an improvement action this turn. That would be kind of unfortunate. If I don't get an improvement action here, what do I do instead? I really do not want to use this grain for renoing. I think that's like really bad to do. Don't care if they freeze, so, so true. Yep. I might get an improvement action, so Teal's going to take a food action. I guess Teal has five food. Two pig, yeah, they, I mean, they had the two pigs out, but yeah, that's... Okay, let me get start player, please. Please let me get start player. Please, pretty please, let me get start player. Pretty please, let this person take a veggie. Let the next person take a food action, and then let me get start player, and then we take six wood, and then we pog. Please. Help, my playlist is, is not loading. Freaking YouTube. YouTube making me go slow because I have ad block on. You hate to see it. Wait, ad block isn't even enabled. Oh, yeah, it is. <laughs> You're green, you dislike, you take two pigs. Green has food, but not much else. My traveling players, no, is what I would say if I had any more ox I wanted to play, but they all suck. <laughs> this casual worker is really bad here. Why would you not take a veggie? What are you doing? We're not veggieing? No, my six wood. This is slightly worse for me, but it's okay. We just start player. It's fine. On, I'm, tr I'm also going to try and find a different soundtrack. We just start player into four wood. Bang. I would like to sew, please. All right, we're, we're still pogging. Sew me, confirm me. Oh, wait, never mind. The next track slaps. I guess so. They they blocked themselves. <laughs> when you when you block, but you only block yourself. Crops are yeah. Crops is so. All right, we have we have passive food. We have successfully made it to passive food heaven, where we get four food at the harvest plus three food at the harvest, which is seven food, which is enough. So we're we're chilling. Um. So now our objective is to get wood and fence. That's that's the thing that we if we go forward through with fence ten, I'm very happy with that. Um, and then unfortunately, camping start for family grow without room is going to be kind of hard to do. I could go for bed in the grain field grows in like round thirteen if I want to, because I can build a room with grain and resow it at some point. I probably should try and do that in clay if I get a chance. Yeah, that seems good to me. It's always four wood. Can you fence with the grain too? You can, yeah, you can fence with the grain, which I might also do. We have enough grain chilling right now that I probably could. Also, I can get a million grain by taking one stone action because now that's three grain, basically. 
I can also probably start raw eating veggies if I need to as well. Dude, who would have known Milrite would actually be useful? That's crazy. Two beggars. Ouch. Whatever. If they're begging and not leaving, I'm happy. Uh, cheer them on. You you take my traveling players, you beg. As long as you don't leave. Yeah, Milrite is, like, shockingly good. Because when I took it, I was like, yeah, I just need another grain. Like, another grain source so I could sow is nice because I need third Ock. As it turns out, it's going to be way better than that. Um, four clay goes. That is a little bit unfortunate. Best field watch and pay. Yeah, Milrite was a pretty good field watch and payoff. I think I just take three wood fence. And I just go for animals here. The animals might be a little fucked because of teal. Do I fence 10 or 12? That's another question. Mm. I could fence 12 tight. Yeah, and I just never have to take wood again. That's pretty acceptable. Wood still looks awful in this game. I don't really mind turning two grain into wood here. Yeah, that's fine. Livestock feeder, sleeping corner. Yeah, there, uh, in CD days, there were a lot of decent payoffs for it. Like, Millwright was a good payoff for it. There were a lot of pretty good payoffs, I think, if I remember correctly. I remember that base, the base set was like the worst Field Watchman set. <laughs> That's what I remember. Because it actually was like really, oh, it's a puppy. Hi, puppy. Oh, yeah, you got a toy, huh? But yeah, I, I remember in base, Field Watchman was like actually not incredible because the tempo loss of uh, taking like grain so many times was really miserable. Kind of bad in the current format. <laughs> I don't agree with that at all. I think it's still great. It's not like the most broken card of all time, but it's still great. Well, so in draft 10, I think cards like Field Watchmen are really good, right? Because they allow you to... Um, they allow you to do like a lot of broken stuff that like they're combo enablers anything that's a combo enabler gets so much better in draft 10 um i'm gonna fence 12 here i think i think i just fence 12 tight it opens up plow later for points i don't think that i will need more fields later i could also fence 11 i think that 12 tight is a little better i don't expect to get all the animal pairs here I'm hoping for just the pair of pigs. Yeah, I'll just fence 12 tight. That's fine. Sure. I might take two stone here, honestly. Oh, I forgot about mini pasture. No, that's okay. That's that's fine. I forgot about mini pasture. Mini pasture might have changed my life a little bit, but that's okay. That enables farming is worse. <coughs> oh, I disagree with that. I, I think that stuff that combos is like any combo enablers are completely insane in draft 10. And that's what you want to be doing is trying to draft some degenerate combo. Like, here, the reason this game is going so well is because we we figured out, like, hey, I have this swing plow, which is a farming enabler. How do I make this really degenerate? Oh, I make it degenerate by, like, being able to set up a sow in round seven, at which I was able to do with Overachiever, which I didn't anticipate, but it, I left that line open. And now we're, like, in great shape. And then we just leave everything else open. Like, farming is still great. Three-room farming is still incredible. Like, everyone here is building a million rooms. I just don't care, because family growing for me is not really very efficient. Like, everybody has room to grow, except for me and Teal. But, you know. Your opponents are having disasters. 
I think even if my opponents were not having disasters, this game would still be going well because I had a good flexible plan. I also got blocked on traveling players by Teal a lot, which would not have happened in a game with other players. <laughs> and that did hurt me quite a bit. I, I think there is a combo of things. It's always weird, right? When you're trying to compare, like, how would this game be going to other games? It's so hard to say because your draft would be totally different. I don't feel like my draft was, like, anything incredible, though. But, I mean, it's definitely a part of it that my my opponents are not having the best games of all time. Yo, there's two animal pairs, and I get to go first? What the fuck? Uh, I always start... I don't think it matters which one I start with here, because I think the other one always gets taken. So, given that, I start with the pigs, because I can get to five by doing this. High 50s half the time. Yo, what's up, Comat? How are you? I'm I'm a high 50s Andy. High 50s is a good place to be. Threw him struggle with high. Well, yeah, if people are getting that high of scores, but like, you know, it's all it's all a positioning thing. Like, if if you can't do four rooms efficiently, you shouldn't do four rooms. And like, you know, setting up a good three room game involves like making sure that you can farm early enough and making sure that you have like point ceiling like the well like things like that that make sure you have point ceiling is really important uh so that way when you finish your farming early you can translate that into something and that's not necessarily the easiest thing to do um yo what's up crosswords how are you i saw you playing uh cobalt core the other day were you enjoying that i think you're playing cobalt core yeah, this is what I thought. I was like, yeah, this is. Th there's no way that sheep don't get taken here if, if I take the, the boars. There's no shot. Dude, I love Cobalt Core. They need to make Cobalt Core merch. I would buy a set of Cobalt Core plushies. I would do it. It's really fun. It's a fun one. Do I take four clay here? Like, what am I doing my next action? <laughs> I, could, I could start to hope for grow without room. I don't think that's correct, because there's two people that can grow and green might start. Oh, and Cobalt Core? In terms of who's the best, I think it's Riggs. In terms of flavor-wise, who I think is like the coolest, like flavor-wise, and who I'd want to hang out with, it's Riggs. So it's it's just Riggs on all fronts. Me when I show up to my neighbor's house in America and find out that they have a gun. <laughs> Me when I pull out my gun because I realize that my neighbor, that, that there are big guns everywhere. <laughs> uh, my clay got taken, that's kind of unfortunate. I could blow a seventh field for a little bit more food if I wanted to, I don't think I need to do that. Uh, I, I probably will take a cow here. Uh, cow plow. I can reno next turn. I could. I'm kind of thinking about taking stone, actually. Two stone is enough to renovate. There's still stone oven. It hitting the calcium fertilizers is kind of hot here. It means that I don't really have to sow again. Like, I can sow in around 14 and be totally fine. I'm going to start with a cow. Maybe I should think about casual worker. Where are the odds that casual worker is good? I don't know. <laughs> it's off of this trigger over here. Uh... Yeah, I like that game. God, you know what I've been doing? Yo, thank you for the follow. I appreciate that. <laughs> Can I say something crazy? I think that's my first follower in the new year that I've I've had since I've been on stream, which is insane because I haven't a I haven't streamed that much and b uh, we're farming. <laughs> 
Uh, that's so crazy. That that's on stream. There's been some people that like come in from off stream. I got a shout out in like Lumen stream. That was very cool. Uh, but yeah, welcome in. Uh, <laughs> so funny. yeah, there was a loam pit in this draft. I don't remember that. I don't remember the loam pit. Uh, so teal started. This is actually so bad for me. I probably just naked start next turn first thing. Uh, man, Reedstone Food's actually also kind of good. Do I take two stone here and try and double Reno? That's a question. The Reno Q looks a little bit fucked. In Dominion, oof. I've already heard that. That happens in Dominion. You, like, get behind, and then all of a sudden, everybody is taking turns that are, like, five minutes long, and you just, like, draw your hand, and you're just like, oh, yeah, I go. Actually, Dominion is better about that than other games, but still. What am I doing with this action? Oh, I should just sow next turn. I should really be sowing again. I think I might plow seventh field. <laughs> I think I want to plow another field here and then just sow again next turn. So that way I can just use this grain for stuff that I need grain for. I'm kind of tempted to play casual worker too, though. How many stables is casual worker? I think it is... T if it's two stables, I should do it. I think it's two stables. Uh... No, but I should be taking a stone too. Fuck. I should let the veggies come off so I can sow grain in those spots. If it's two, I should do it. I don't think it, I think it's so unlikely to be two. I think I'm taking one of these stone actions. I'm almost always stoning here. I'm gonna plow a field. Yeah, this is a crazy action, but I think I'm gonna do it. I think it gets me food. It fills in my farm. I might need the food. It makes my sew better. I think that's the main reason that I'm doing this is that it makes my sew better. Oh, but I can't even sew that many resources. Fuck, dude, what am I doing? Cause I only have four grain. This is bad. I think this is a bad move. I think it was bad. I, I need to start player next turn. If I didn't need to start player next turn, this is like maybe okay, but I have to start player next turn for grow without room. So it's, it's a little cooked. It's a little bit cooked. I should just play the casual worker. Yeah, I should just play this. This was like so much better. Whatever, it, it cost me at most a point and maybe some animal capacity too. The animal capacity might actually be relevant though. Yeah, that might be relevant. Okay, three wood goes, that's good. That not not getting tempted by six wood is nice. What do I want to do next turn? Next turn is like so a bunch of grain. God, having two clay in my supply is so fucking awkward. Because it means I need two clay to reno. I guess I can read stone food. I, I have to reno at some point. That's like my only way to point ceiling here. Cause my, I'm gonna very swiftly hit my point ceiling. I'm already kind of hitting my point ceiling here. I will also say plowing is kind of nice in that it, it puts plow pressure on other people later on in the game, which is very good for me because I need, um, I need there be some plow pressure on other people so I get better actions later on. So it also has that effect. And it gives me three more. This is a three food action as well, which maybe I need, maybe I don't. I probably don't need it. Well, I'm getting water and coffee, child. I'll be right back while this goes. Thank you. 
Yeah, I didn't count the food, but whatever, it's a point. <laughs> I, I should have just taken the casual worker. No, someone took a stone too. I'm so bad. No, I messed up. If someone took the stone, playing casual worker here, or not playing casual worker here sucks. Should I just play bed in the green field anyway? <laughs> so I probably am. I kind of want the three stone. This person built another room. I guess it's not terrible for me, right? If Family Girl without room flips here, I'm guaranteed to get it at least once. That's kind of fun. Yeah, okay, I have a lot of food. <laughs> I have a lot of food. I think I'm pretty handily winning, though. I don't really see who's anywhere close. Like, green's gonna be okay. Teal's just out. They have beggars. Red, I don't think has ceiling at all here. I don't know. We're pretty far ahead. I mean, to be fair, I'm fairly point capped here, but I think I can unpoint cap myself by just taking a start player for a grow without room. That's fine. Star player grow without stone so Yeah, I did not need this field. Yeah, I, I really wish I'd taken this now. That's okay. A cow is also really good too, right? Cow's also great. Although if I get a cow, I kind of need um I will say mini pasture might actually be good here for animal capacity reasons. If I get past mini pasture, it's kind of nice. Um, I may not start here. I may not start here. I might take three stone instead. Yeah, no one's farming. Everyone's now worrying about fences. I think the three stone here is too crazy. Because I can go for Reno Stone Oven as well. Reno Stone Oven's kind of hot with it. Instead of prioritizing grow here, I can just take good actions. Yeah, I think this is a little too good. The Reno Q is a little fucked here, though. I think that's the only problem. 
If I need to, I can reno this turn, and I might do that just to get the reno in. Yeah, that's why three room games work when nobody else plays three room games. Oh, this person's taking stone oven. Well, fuck me then. I guess if they take stone oven, uh, they're still BMW. Uh, I also realize that I have this overachiever still. Could be good. Yeah, overachiever could be good. What the fuck? They're going for a reno. Oh, dude, I should just reno this turn. I gotta reno this turn. I, I have to do it. I have to reno nothing. Yeah, if I don't reno this turn, it's fucked. I gotta reno this turn. It, it's really bad because this person can reno soon. This person can reno. This person is looking to reno at least once. Um, yeah, I gotta reno here. I can also just build stone oven alternatively. Stone Oven better than Renoing here? No, Reno's better. Right. <laughs> uh huh. Mmm. God, you know what game I've been watching? I've been watching Carl Sagan play Tunic again, and it reminded me, because I played Tunic, I never beat it. I got to like the very end, and I never ever beat it. Um, that game is like really cool. But I, like, every time I see someone play it, I'm just like, I want to see someone else suffer. Yeah, Carl Sagan. He's a, he's a cool streamer. He's a cool guy. His name is also Carl Sagan, which is a funny name. Ha <laughs> I'm ready to be on the next game. I accomplished my master plan of getting my big sows in. What do I want to do here? I really have no idea. Oh, I don't know. I do not know what I want to do. I should line up BMW eventually with the family grow. The secrets are very deep. I, I think the problem is that like the, I, I did order by the way, a physical copy of the instruction booklet that's in Tunic and I'm really excited about that. I think that's one of the coolest thing about Tunic it, by far is the instruction booklet and how it's laid out in the world. It is by far the coolest thing. And it definitely has a lot of really interesting and cool secrets. Um, Yeah, we're just gonna run out this turn. We're just gonna run out here. I'll run out and I'll take a cower also. I'll do one of those two things. Because, yeah, if I don't uh, reno here, it's cooked. It just point caps me too much to not have access to a reno later on. And this this reno queue looks really bad. Um, yeah, I don't think I care about any majors here. I'll play bed in the green field, because why not? <laughs> Why not? On the off chance I get a million clay and build another room, fuck it. There's no five clay here though. I, mean, I guess in theory I could do it. I go clay, read stone food, build, and get a thing. Oh, that's cool. That's really cool. Wait, there's a reason why not what? Yeah, Tunic is cool. It's cool. I think the end game frustrated me more than, like, I think, like, the reveal of everything was cool, but the end game was very frustrating, and it made me not want to play the game anymore. <laughs> you gonna block Major in round 14? What do you mean? Well, I just want to, I don't want to block Major. I just want to get the Major off Family Grow. I just want, I just want to get my free Major. That's all I want. They're taking read. Okay, never mind. They're just gonna build all the majors. All right, cool. Oh, I should start player here. I'm a genius. I should start player here because then I get grow into uh, oven. Grow oven is crazy here. Yeah, grow oven is so nuts. 
grow oven goes kind of hard. Maybe green will start player for me. My animal capacity is so fucked. I, w I wish I played this casual worker so bad. That one stable would be so good. Grow. I want my Groven. I want it, and I can read stone food for Reno again if I really need to. Ock. Interesting. That card's great. This card's really, really good. Yeah, card's amazing. My video game music is being fucky. What soundtrack do I want to listen to instead then? Cobalt Core has a good OST. Yes, we live the dream. We actually, this is the dreamiest dream of all fucking time. Holy shit. This is so good. This is the best. Is this what I want? Oh my god, wait, this is so cool. All right, whatever. Now it's my turn. Uh, so I get the Groven. Right build some moment. Yeah, whatever. If that happens, it's fine. I'll, I'll deal with it. I think I'm going to sow this turn. The animal capacity is kind of fucked up, and I hate it. Yeah, I think... I think we gotta sew now. Do I care about sew? I don't really care about sew. I mean, I have six grain in my fields. Like, if I just take another stone action, I'm capped. I don't think I care about sew. That's crazy. I'm gonna take this cow then. Yeah, we just don't care about so. All right, cool. Well, then this field is really bad. <laughs> That's okay, though. It happens. Like, if I get a so, I'll take it, but... I think I can just take two stone... Green bag, you get an additional grain for each bake improvement. That's a fun one. Is that two? Chad, are these both baking improvements? Yeah, they are. They absolutely are. Okay, that's a pretty good, that's a fun card. I don't remember seeing that, but I also have bad memory for seeing cards, so it's possible. <laughs> Four grain. Do they? It's not three. They only have two bake improvements, I think. I think it's only the cooking hearth and the clay oven. I don't think joinery counts. Joinery definitely doesn't count as a bake improvement. Oh, no, they have a seed seller, too. Lamau. <laughs> That's so good. That's very funny. All right, we, we lived the clay oven nightmare, I think. Yeah, green, green really bailed us out here. That was a really homey move. The best part, too, is that I can still get Basket Maker's Workshop if I take Reedstone food. <laughs> That's the sweet part. We can get BMW. Sheesh. Elder Baker with less setup. Yeah, I don't know what that card does. But I'm sure you're right. Teal is really doing their own thing in this game. This is like in Survivor when Roxroy was on the season. Teal is Roxroy right now. They're doing their own thing. They're having a blast. <laughs> There's a dad on the island playing Survivor. Build some of his minor improvement action. That's crazy. Private action base to give you three go. Wait, that's insane! Oh, I do know what that card is. I actually know that card. Plasso makes sense. This is only on farmland. Okay, that that adds up. T 
fields just decide they don't care about plows at all, apparently. Whoa! Plowing two with that plow spot, that seems crazy, because red snaps plow so here, I think. I need stables. <laughs> I need stables so bad. I want to take these two sheep, but what do I do with them? Um, yeah, I would like to play a stone oven, please. All right, the dream. Nope. No baking. Yeah, I think I'm fine on food here. I haven't done the math, but if I need to, I'll just raw you vegetables until I'm good. <laughs> It, it'll be fine. We'll, we'll make it work. We'll, we'll make it work. No matter how the math works out, we'll be fine. We have, what, eight food per harvest? So we have 24 food right now? Yeah, we're fine. I have stolen the stone oven. I do. I have enough food for a harvest. We're, we're chilling. Right, there's the reno. Do I want to sow? That's a question. I would like to line up a reno here. I'd love to line up a reno. No, I need to take sheep. God, my animal capacity is so fucked up. What am I doing here? Yeah, it's like sheep into so. I could read stone food. If green re-ups start, I can read stone food. Read stone food also lets me reno. Hmm. It just unlocks a three-point move of some kind. I probably should take read stone food this turn then. Yeah, read stone food might scare some people. Because it lets me family grow, uh, what is it called? Oh, right, never mind. I take it all back. Reedstone food sucks now. <laughs> this is going to be basket makers. Oh, maybe not. Why would they basket makers here, though? That doesn't make sense. The math is not mathing. Yeah, why would Red be building basket makers with this move? Played hunter, <laughs> gather, placement games. <laughs> That's a really funny. Plus two. I'll plus two that joke. That's funny. Are they major instead of star player? I don't know, man. I probably should check the rating of people before I uh, sit down at a table with them. Can you imagine if in real life, like, you sit down at a table for farming for, like, a tournament or something like that, and you just, like, ask someone what the rating is? <laughs> uh... It's like the equivalent of like you sit down on a blind date with someone and you just fucking like ask them like uh, what their like dislike ratio is on Tinder. <laughs> That'd be messed up. My sheep! No, my sheep. This fixes my animal space though, actually, which is fine. I just need one sheep. What do I do here? I think I'm redstone fooding. Oh. Yeah, sure, I mean, you tell the, the doggy what's up. You tell the doggy what's up. I might still take Reedstone food here. It lets me reno. So three, six, eight. I have exactly eight rain. Yeah, screw it. If I need to, I can take a stone action next turn. But I think that this... Oh, I also realize that I'm stupid and have two actions this turn. What the fuck am I doing with two actions this turn? Uh... What am I doing with two actions? I might be sewing anyways. I'm going to take Reedstone food. I think it puts enough pressure on the reno. It gives me ability to reno. Like, the odds I can do something with this is really high next turn. 
I might have to start player for it, which would be mildly annoying, but that's okay. That's their income. Asking income on the first date would be crazy. Stone to stable. I do want to play that card. No, dude, this is going to be fucking... Don't do it. Don't take BMW, please. The uh, hearth. Oh, it could be just a regular cookery, actually. It could just be a fireplace or a hearth here. There's no way this is BMW, right? They want a Renault with this. Nobody is respecting the Renault queue. What the fuck? There, there are four people that can Renault here. Nobody is respecting the Renault queue. I think I'm going to sew with this last action. The extra grain is like a stable. It's a uh, freaking a lot of stuff i do one stable is two points for me too so i probably should build stables are stables ever getting taken next turn i don't think so red could build another room red building another room would be kind of fucky farmers only only fans farmers only is so good what happened to Farmers Only? I haven't seen a Farmers Only ad in, like, years. Probably because they got, like, they realized that the amount of farmers who want to go on dates is pretty small. <laughs> it's pretty small. I mean, it is, like, a problem that they're solving, which is, I don't know how the fuck you meet people if you're a farmer unless you go to, like, rodeos or some some shit like that, some, some barn hoedowns. Um, I don't know how you meet people. Like, I'm a gamer, and I don't know how I would meet people if not for, you know, online dating apps. <laughs> so I get it. I understand it. What is happening? Why are they thinking so hard about Major Minor here? I don't understand. Shit makes no sense. Oh, it is hard. That makes sense to me. I should just sew. Yeah, I should sew with this next action. I should sew. I think the grain is worth. Also veggies too, because why not? Yeah, the extra grain is pretty nice here. Two stone. I don't think I care about the two stone. Is it better? It's literally just three grain. Sewing is just better. No, sewing is better than three grain here. I don't know why no one has fields here. It doesn't make sense to me. But I, th I think sewing this grain is fine. And I get to sew these veggies too for, for lots of veggies for fun. Yeah, I don't, I don't think it really... Oh, I didn't plow sew. What am I doing? <laughs> I didn't think... I didn't see that plow sew was available. What am I doing, dude? Plow sew was available and I just didn't even take it. That's so funny. That's so good. That's so funny. I didn't even see it. I missed it. I didn't... I didn't realize plow sew would be available. That's actually bananas. Whatever. My, my opponents need the moral support. I also, yeah, if I had if I had farm layouted a little bit better here, if I had actually done the farm layout the way that I wanted to, I actually could have plowed a field there too, which is funny. I could have used up this last space on my farm. That's okay. Minus one action. I made a couple mistakes at the end of this game, but that's okay. Yo, Greek Chick, thank you for the follow. I've seen you on Lumen stream. Welcome, welcome on in. Hope you're doing well. Oh, chat, I was going to do this thing. Luca, leave it. Good doggy. There you go. Um, I was going to do this thing where I post a YouTube video of farming and I say, hey, I'm live right now. I should do that. Wait, I'm doing that. I'm doing that right now. I'm going to post a video. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do the ultimate YouTube strategy, which is that we post a video and we say we're live at the same time. Hold on. Okay, so if you're watching this. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, so we do this. We make this the thumbnail because as a, a stable card in it. 
we make this live. Bang. That. Wait, did I make a, did I put keywords? Oh, I did put keywords. Okay, cool. Wait, competitive basketball drills for high school. Why is that a tag? Why, why did that tag get added? Why did that get added to my fucking thing? How did that happen? My traveling players got taken again. That's hilarious. Okay, so we do this. Bang. And now we go to the video and we leave a comment that says, if you're reading this, wait, go to the video. This is the ultimate gamer move. Now leave a comment that says, if you're watching when the video first comes out, I'm live farming right now at twitch.tv slash econshawn. Boom, ultimate gamer move. I've never done that gamer move in my life because I never uh, have stuff line up at the same time. But now that I do, I have a video ready to go. That's the, that's the logical thing to do. We're just giving points away. No one took starting player, what the fuck? Please let Teal not take starting player. Teal, don't do it. It is a, a very, very good YouTube strat. If, if you like post videos that are the content that you're streaming, is it easy to stream on YouTube at the same time? No, it's very tricky to set up. It's tricky to set up. Like, I think that for Agricola, I could do it. I, I tried to multi-stream. Severe, you're such a liar. <laughs> I tried to set multi-streaming. It's kind of tricky. It's also annoying because you have to keep track of both chats at the same time. It's also annoying because streaming on YouTube fucking blows. I, I think streaming on YouTube sucks. You guys set a thumbnail. Like, it, it's really annoying. Don't do it. Do not take starting player. Well, in retrospect, the stone action looks really good. What's going on with the Renault queue? What's happening? It's it's just cooked. I mean, this person cannot reno, right? Am I crazy? Green can't reno. Red can reno. This person cannot reno. All right, maybe it's fine. Maybe I can reno and have BMW. Maybe I can just do everything. Maybe I can do it all. Stable is two points. Hmm. Whatever, we're chilling. I think we got this game locked. I don't see a way that, like, like Reno and Fences are going to make up some points, but... Stone gave you BMW and Reno resources to Stone. Yeah, I think it did... Not for Reno BMW, but if I get family growth and then I then it allows me to Reno later, which is nice. I think that's true. I think the stone could have been fine. Like the problem is that I don't want to. I think that sowing is like guaranteed points because if I sow and then I do all that, I'm losing points with grain. Whereas if I sow, it unlocks like stable as an option because now I have enough grain for stable. Um, it makes it so that I can then take Reedstone food for another Reno. I can just Reno raw with a grain if I want to. Like, I think it's like close between them. I think they're probably point equivalent. Renault and BMW are doing in a historic farming slash trading game. It's fair. Yeah, I've really been like, I've been struggling to find a game to play. I'm glad that this season of farming is so cool. I love it so much. It's funny, I've been watching Lumen slowly lose his mind. <laughs> Lumen has been slowly losing his mind this season. Holy shit, dude, it's so funny. He's slowly losing his mind. The madness is where I thrive. I thrive in the draft 10 without the most absurdly broken cards. This is this is my zone. Oh man, that's so funny. 
<laughs> it's so good. Poor Lumen. Hey, what's up, Mighty W? How are you? If anyone comes over from my YouTube, by the way, shouts to you. <laughs> Yo, green kept starting. We're living the dream. It's affecting his play. You know what? I, I blame Zazak. I blame Zazak. I, 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 I'm blaming Zazak. Zazak has been stream sniping for too long. He's getting away with it. L Lumen is too nice to call him out on it. I'm calling him out on it. He, he is stream sniping Lumen too aggressively. It's it's impacting him. I would like my uh, my BMW, please. <laughs> Don't tag him. Don't tag him. <laughs> he can lurk if he wants to. He, he can lurk. But I'm just saying going and and stream sniping every single day that someone plays when you are like one of the best players on the platform just that way you can uh like play against someone i like zazak T to be totally fair i like zazak zazak is a a very nice person also very good at farming that being said if you stream snipe someone um like over and over again when they play agricola it makes it less fun which I have been the victim of in, a, in the past of like stream sniping, but we, but because of the way I play, where I play multiple games at once, I don't tend to play against the same people because people realize like, hey, this person, like I played against them once, I should let someone else do it, and that's fine. <laughs> Passive priest, what do you expect? It's one thing if you stream snipe someone and you get to repeatedly stomp them over and over again. Like, it's another thing when you're stream sniping someone and you're stomping them over and over again. <laughs> it changes you. It changes you. Snipe well so fast. Yeah, I mean, well is, is uh, you know. I could take Reedstone food and Reno here. No. Okay, they took the, they have Reno parts. Okay, so I can't Reno. I can't Reno. I get... Four wood stables? That's four points for two actions. Four wood stables. Four wood stables sheep here. Yeah, that seems fine. We, we are gonna be rich in food. Yeah, what, I, what I'm, I'm talking about Q sniping. Yeah, I'm talking about Q sniping. It, it means, but if you if you are waiting until someone goes to play a game and queuing into them, that is also stream sniping. It just is less egregious of stream sniping than also watching while they play. That's the point I'm trying to make, is that they are, um, it, it is still stream sniping. Like if you queue into me, we happen to be playing at the same time, that's fine. But you know how I know that, that Zazak is stream sniping? It's because I played a game every day this week. I didn't see Zazak once. <laughs> I'm just saying. I play I play a lot of games this week. I didn't see him once. Although I played at weird times. I, I don't like play during the day. I play like in the morning. I play at evening. Like I don't, I don't play at reasonable times. Uh, what am I doing here? I'm building stables and then I take a sheep and that's it. That's my life. So, so all I'm saying is that he should just lay off the stream sniping as much. There, there's a few people that do this. There's a few people that say like, oh, I want to play games with my streamer, which is fine to do every once in a while. It's fine to say, hey, I want to play a game against this person because I, I enjoy their like stream and, and it's fun to play against people who are good and improve from them. That's fine every once in a while. But I think I've seen Zach on like every single game of Lumens for like two weeks straight. <laughs> And that, that is a little bit of an issue. I, I think it's a little bit egregious. Don't take my stables. Don't take my stables. That's my stables. It's a bit awkward having this discussion. For you. I'm winning this game of Agricola. <laughs> You're going to queuing after this game. You can queue if you want to. I don't really care. 
If it's once, that's fine. But like the second that I start getting stream sniped over and over again by the same people, I'm not gonna stream anymore. I'm, I'm just telling you straight up, I, I won't do it. I'll play off stream. <laughs> and I won't record it for YouTube either. <laughs> I'll just play. You'll snipe Severe. Just jump in a queue and Severe jumps in, like clog the queue, snipe the stream snipers. That's so funny. Oh, that's so good. That's so good. That'd be really funny. No, I mean, if it's every once in a while, it's fine. If you want to play next game, that's totally fine. Um, it's just, if it's over and over again, it's fucked. That's, that's the part that I, I think is messed up. Boop -a -doo, boop -a -boo. Bang! I'm just gonna wait like 10 minutes to queue. <laughs> I probably should have used my last space on my farmyard in case there's a freaking constable around, but I, I, I'm i not feeling constable. I, I don't feel like that's a thing. Oh, I was about to say, did I build my third stable? Yes, I did. Unfortunately, I can only build one extra with Millerite, but that's okay. All right, we went through and we got like a 50. We take those. To be fair, I got very rewarded with uh, the grow queue, but. Yeah, I don't I don't like getting stream sniped. I don't really enjoy it very much. If you want to do it every once in a while, I don't really care. But if you do it and then take collector from me, our friendship is over. <laughs> if, you, if you do it and don't pass me collector, friendship over. No, don't don't actually. You can do whatever you want. I don't care. All right, GG. Good farm. I made some mistakes with positioning. I I always I gotta put my first field up here. I just forgot that's some some stuff. Uh, I forgot about, um, I probably should have still played casual worker instead of plowing the other field. That probably was still better. It didn't end up mattering in the end. That ended up washing out, I think, but still didn't better. Second or third choice of oh, every arc. Yeah, that's fair. I think at first because it's fun. I'll, I'll pick the fun stuff over the good stuff every day of the week. But most of the stuff I find fun is also good, which helps. It helps a lot. <laughs> I do like our feeding engine this game of uh, raised bed plus land surveyor. That was very cool. That was a nice feeding engine. Yeah, the sundial nonsense is really nice. This this was very, very cool. Over childless. Childless is so boring. <laughs> childless is so boring. I, I pick Collector over Childless every day of the week. Childless is like w super boring. Every Childless game is the same. P playing Childless is like, you know the, the, the SpongeBob meme where it's like, uh, like, hi, welcome to uh, the Krabby Patty. What are you ordering? And and then Patrick's like, or like someone's like, I'll order this. And he's like, ooh, daring today, are we? <laughs> That's how I feel about Childless. It's like, yeah, it's it's good, but it's a little, uh, it's basic. Now you're stream sniping. Ruh -roh. I'll pass you Childless, don't worry. I'll ship it for you. But you know, if, if you get past Childless, I have Collector. <laughs> now you know. Priest. Priest is pretty fun. I like Priest a lot. Uh, Priest in this set especially is fun because there's so many ways to early reno, which is which is very, very fun. All right, we got a pretty respectable score. F low 50s is pretty good. I, I got very bailed out at the very end of this game, but pretty uh, in that I got a bunch of free majors, but it's pretty good. Please, please queue into three other people trying to stream sign me, please. I want this same lobby. I'll play against these same three people again. I do not care. I don't care at all. I like winning in Agricola. This is this is an unpopular opinion, but I like winning. <laughs> winning in Agricola is really fun. As long as people don't leave the game when they're losing. Winning is very, very fun. And I've been doing a lot of winning off stream this week. So I want to keep it that way. 
I love winning. No, no, winning is great. Winning is not resin sleeper. Winning is is wonderful. It's the best feeling of all time. <laughs> like granted, in Agricola, if you execute your strategy and don't win something, like you feel good, and that's one of the joys about Agricola is that you can have a strategy that you execute. It doesn't quite go your way, but you still get to execute something and do something fun, and that's a good thing. Um, when Agricola is not fun, is when you don't get to execute your strategy and you get wrecked by everybody. Um, but um, when Agricola is the most fun is when you execute your cool strategy and you win. That's the best. Five games or so. Yeah, I played like tennis or something like that. No, no, it's not something along those lines. I, I hit elite tier in record time, I think. I think I won like almost every game that I queued in this season. But I've also been playing against a bunch of people in like the 300 ELO. Chad, I haven't paid my harvest. Oh no, I haven't paid it. <laughs> I forgot. Oh no. <laughs> I forgot. I have nine food left over. Fuck. <laughs> uh man child's fifth oc played dude imagine playing a fifth oc childless you play four other ox first and then childless fifth that would be very funny in round four that's crazy see i get this guy out of my game <laughs> when i play tournaments i'll play with the the people who are really good then i'll play with good people but like when i'm exploring the cards i don't mind playing against people who are a little bit below my skill level and just like being able to have the freedom to explore like different strategies and things like that i don't mind it Not, not having the stress of, like, having to, uh, you know, feel like I have to make every single play correctly and do all that stuff. Like, that's nice. All right, GG, we won that. Um, I'm going to go to the bathroom and run ads. When I come back, we will play more games. <laughs>